breakthrough artist Katy Perry is one of music's biggest stars with songs that show off her feisty girl power charisma. But Katy has a secret. Yeah, you'd think I would be the most confident person, but the most confident person still has their moments. And a lot of my most insecure moments related to my face. I had blemishes right here, you know, next to my mouth. The microphone's here where everybody's watching. I wanted to just hide. I finally decided I have nothing to lose because I have tried it all. So I just decided to try Proactive. Introducing new Proactive. Now faster and gentler. With Proactive, your zits disappear and your skin stays consistently clear. In three weeks, all of my big kind of stick out bumps had gone flat. New Proactive is valued at over $45, but get your 30 day three step system now for our introductory price of just $29.95 plus postage. And get our new cleansing body bar to help banish body breakouts. For glowing skin, not just for your face, but also your body, our new cleansing body bar with micro exfoliating beads that help remove dead skin cells while gently cleansing the skin. A total solution from head to toe. The secret to new Proactive is our advanced micro crystal technology, which penetrates fast to deliver rapid zit fighting action. Plus, become an active member and every three months receive a new cleanser, new toner, and new repairing lotion. Rapid Action Proactive is a new improved formula. Plus, we've added our new cleansing body bar and our new book of must have secrets for flawless skin. A combined value of over $80 for just $29.95. Now that I have clearer skin, I'm one of those people that's like, I've got the secret, here's the secret, please take it. So don't wait. Be proactive. Call the number on your screen now. I'm very happy I found you. <laughs> the following program is classified PG and is also closed captioned. Parental guidance is recommended for persons under 15 years. You're watching Bob Zayas. Inside this beachside mansion, a most unusual dating experiment is about to take place. In a specially designed dating room, what the hell is this? three single men and three single women will meet in complete darkness. I'm Matt. Hi, Matt. Hello. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. They can't see anything, but using state-of-the-art <laughs> infrared cameras, we that. can see everything. Wow, you're really firm. After a series of dates with each other, <laughs> they'll choose the one partner they'd like to see revealed. Oh. But what will happen when the lights are turned on? He wasn't what I was expecting. Will they meet the partner of their dreams or will they walk away? Visually, she's not an absolute dreamboat. Can they find true love based on personality alone? We're pretty awesome. Oh. We licked each other's oh. eyeballs. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> These people are about to find out by Dating in the Dark. My name's Carlo, I'm 32 and uh, I'm a digital producer. I do play the field, sometimes I suppose I'm like a dog with a new toy. I, I kind of get sick of it after a while and then move on. I don't think girls tend to, you know, fall in love with me because of my looks. They'll certainly fall in love with my charm, my personality. I think I'll do pretty well in the dark. So if dating in the dark is like the Olympics of love, I'm ready to go for gold. Hi, I'm Matt, I'm 24. Uh, I work as a gym manager and on weekends, I work as a topless waiter. I am a super confident guy. Even if there's other guys around, I see that as competition. I'm going in there, no holes barred. I'm just not going to hold back. And yeah, I'm just going to really, really run with it and have a good time. I'm not going to change my personality from what I'm like outside to what I'm like in the dark room. Hey, mate. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, good, good, good. Carlo. Matt. Man, nice to you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm 25 and I'm a professional DJ. I feel a little bit sort of lost in love, I guess. I've never really found someone that I really, really like and want to settle down with. To be honest, my type would probably be tall, thin, and blonde. But look, I'm open to any any offers. <laughs> G'day, guys. How are you? How are you going, mate? How are you? Sam, mate. Nice to meet you, Sam. 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 How are you? My name is Leticia. I am originally from Paris, but I now live in Sydney for eight years, and I am a business manager. 
I'm 35, but look, to be honest with you, I don't feel my age, so I'm 35 going on 25. <laughs> I like to date younger guys because they're just fun, spontaneous, and definitely less baggage. Fancy. My name's Vanessa, I'm 22, and I'm a qualified art therapist. I think I'm just actually a mature 22 year old. So that's just how I feel. I think generally I just connect with older men. My perfect guy would be someone who is a little bit alternative, a bit creative, and passionate. I don't think I've been ready for a serious relationship in the past, so I feel like now I'm ready for love. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, hey. how are you? What's your name? Ah, uh, Leticia. Hi, Leticia. My name's Michelle. I'm 27 and I'm a music teacher. I think I'm still single because I haven't quite found the right man yet, but I'm prepared to wait for as long as it takes. I think that I'm bright and bubbly, I'm always loving to learn new things and I'm looking for a guy that can keep up with me. Cheers, Cheers dating in the dark. <laughs> Hello. Hi guys. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. I'm Laura. Welcome to your new home. Hey, thank you. So I'm going to be helping you find what we're all looking for, the perfect partner and hopefully love. So you're probably wondering where the girls are at this point. They're all in the room upstairs and that's where they're going to stay. So the only chance that you'll get to meet them will be in the pitch black in the dark room. So it means we'll really get to test that theory, is true love really blind? Now, time for the first date. So it's not too scary for all of you. We're going to send you in as a group. So there's gonna be six of you in the room at a time, but just make sure you pay extra attention to every little detail because you never know what the darkness might reveal. Yeah. Well, good luck <laughs> and enjoy. It's exciting. Thank you. Thank you. I'm feeling uh, slightly anxious about going into the dark room uh, for the first time. It's going to be an unusual experience. I don't think until you're actually there and hearing the girls and feeling that they're across the room that I I'm really going to understand what the hell I've got myself into. Oh, this is nice. I feel chairs. Can you feel it? There's chairs. Oh, wait. There's one. There's two chairs. Where's it going? I don't know how I'm going to go in the dark room. I struggle to have a conversation with people when they're wearing sunglasses. I need to ask them to take them off because I like to see where their eyes are looking. So I don't know how I'm going to go. I'm quite scared. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Found it uh, a little bit nerve-wracking just waiting for them to come in. Um, but once, once they were in, it was fine. Where? You're just, like, staring into space like a zombie talking. I'm Matt. Hi, Matt. Hello. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. On the right. What's yeah. your story? On the w weekends, I'm a topless waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's been serving his drinks all afternoon. Yeah, so nice. the boys love it. Um, I'm a, and I'm also a self-confessed party boy. Okay. Yeah. When Matt started to um, introduce himself straight away, he said, oh, I'm a party boy and that's it. I'm just a party boy and I'm proud of it. And I was like, I'm not looking for a party boy. So I shut him off straight away. I've got a really strong family unit. Okay. Um, yep. So I want to bring a girl in who's also from something similar. So that's Matt, right? Yeah. <clears throat> right. I hear an accent over there, yeah. like a husky. <laughs> oh, husky as well. No, it's yeah. not husky. Um, I'm Letizia. Was, oh, Letizia. Yeah. I'm... There was certainly one of the girls that uh, caught my interest, and that was Letizia. You know, it was from the start. I thought, oh god, there's a sexy accent here. I'm from Paris, but oh. I've been here for eight years now. Lovely. I'm Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hi, um, I am a high school music teacher. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my first impression of Michelle was someone that was really into her music. I can pretty much play everything, but nothing yeah. super, super well. Which instantly is a um, hit for me. I actually really like country music at the moment. Oh, I love All right. That, I'm what, so... like Australian country I love music? Yeah, no, I like folk, like me too, folk man. country, like um, oh, Neil Young and all that sort of oh, stuff. Right. Yeah. I liked Sam. I thought I I don't know what it was, but for some reason it was just sort of like, oh, that boy over there. He's not really saying much. I just felt drawn to. I play a bit of guitar and I sing. Uh, what else we about me? Tell. What's that? Beautiful dulcet tones. Oh, really? You do have a very um, No, you all do, you all. Bit seductive. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, sounded like a girl I'd, I'd be into. She was very boisterous, she put her personality out there, and it's, that's what I look for in a girl. Okay. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, bye
Whoa. Yeah. That was right. weird, hey. That's good, man. That was I can't good. even see anything. Yeah, that was dark, yeah. Very, very dark. dark in there. Yeah. I hope we didn't come across as like, douchebags. Yeah. yeah, we probably That's did. Yeah. <laughs> My gut instinct, which it doesn't really have anything, was Sam. Like, I was like, there's something about Sam. I'm, I'm leaning towards Vanessa. Yeah. Think, she yeah. was the middle one? Yeah, she was yeah, the middle yeah, one. Yeah, she's, she's a little bit more boisterous and, and louder. I like that. Matt impressed me with the way that he said um, that he was very loyal and was very um, dedicated to his family. That's that's important to me. I liked them all, actually. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. Maybe the, the Michelle girl sounds really uh, interesting. Music, really? music yeah. and yeah, yeah. She's good. Yeah. See, I kind of like I liked um, Latisse. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Being from Paris and that, I was just like, oh. She, she was really knowledgeable. Like, yeah. she, she knew, yeah. uh, she picked up on everything. Yeah. yeah. I kind of had a crush with the DJ. Well, no oh, crush, we but I liked the his DJ. voice. I liked his voice, <laughs> and well, he was quiet. Well, you two over him. <laughs> <laughs> Next on Dating in the Dark, a thing's about to get personal. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Any age, any style, any size, everyone can dance. But some people live to dance. The cream of America dance for 500,000 bucks. You took my breath away. Join me and Paula Abdul for the new show that's bringing the US to its feet. You live to dance. Today at 1, Fox 8. Line at fox8.tv and screening next Thursday, 1.45 on Fox 8. say that you can learn a lot about someone by going through their garbage. Oh, God. We're not going to give you the girls rubbish, but what we do have for you are their suitcases. Does this mean that they've got ours? It does mean that they've got yours. <laughs> All right, come on, Sam. <laughs> Don't let us down. <laughs> I was actually looking forward to open Sam's suitcase because, you know, I was quite intrigued with him. Uh, but as soon as I opened it, it was just a big no, no. He's got a dirty suit. Oh, that's oh, 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 that's I like him. Oh, dirty. I like him. Oh, Is that wrong? That's oh, gross. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, we got Check a little bit of a wild one. Woo. <laughs> that is cool. I, like I get the impression that um, Michelle is definitely sort of an outgoing, arty sort of a person. See that cute? I told you she sounded cute. I like people that are that are different like that. But yeah, I, I need to know more. <laughs> Our boss got his bag. My suitcase was pretty average, although there was something that was just a big no no. Oh my it god, like are you so kidding me? Oh, nice thing. There's holes in it. <laughs> Budgie smugglers. Look, you can see through. The see through Budgie smugglers. Vanessa was um, obviously a very free spirited person. I could tell that straight away from the outfits and the, and the way that she packed. It's kind of messy. It's not very well packed. It's just kind of tied together in a big knot. It's gonna look like my bag. All right. Well, let's have a look at Carlo. That's a Carlo's suitcase was actually quite surprising. Oh no! I saw a nice bottle of champagne rosé. I said to myself, "Better be for me. Better put it in the fridge." What is that? We got through the first two bags, and then we got to the third one, who was Letizia. Hello. Hey, Straight away, we could tell that it was a girl that looked after herself. She had, you know, nice makeup bag, uh, nice shoes. As we got um, a little bit deeper, we found some little surprises. Can't get it out. <laughs> In that moment, I realised exactly what it was and flung it out of my hands. <laughs> what is it? Holy shit! <laughs> I know exactly what that is. <laughs> Wasn't sure what it was straight away. Just feel that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and then when it started vibrating, I, I knew that was what it was. Oh, I love this girl. <laughs> so, what'd you find? Anything interesting? A few things. Yeah. yeah. Lots yeah. of uh, yeah, real bags of tricks. Well, you've been through the suitcases and you've met them in the dark room. So now it's time to invite the boys on the first date. Thank so, you. have fun. After everyone sent out their invitations, there were five Sam? dates in all. Oh, they did. First up, Carlo and Leticia, who invited each other. Hello. Bonsoir, madame. Oh, bonsoir. Leticia seems like she's the kind of girl who's got uh, a fair bit going for her, and I need to lift my game to, uh, to be able to match her. I don't know much French. I know. Uh, you don't need to speak French, I can speak English. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'd like to. I did know a bit oh, of French. Shit. 
There was one term I did know that I dared not use, and that's uh, je ne sais quoi. No, pourquoi? No, that's no, I love you. There's another one. Ah, oh, shit. We all found something in your suitcase. Oh, you all found something. What did you find? Mm. I don't know. Do you want to tell me what it might have been? Well, so what are you talking about? And he couldn't even say what it was because he was very shy about it. Well, there was something fairly personal. In oh, right. Well, you found the thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, I think that's go. really good. Someone who's um, actually very uh, open and free <laughs> with their sexuality is actually a really good thing. It's, uh, well, I prefer it's to do terrible. that than sleep around, I guess. True, yes, yes. Fair enough. Michelle was next, having been invited by Sam. Where are you? <laughs> How are you going? Good. Oh, <laughs> shit. You're right. <laughs> Sit there. That way. I'm sorry. Things went pretty well from the start, I thought. She seems like the kind of girl that was on a similar sort of wavelength to me. So what made you sort of want to come on this show? I don't know. I really have not found a decent guy. Oh, really? Well, here I am. Oh, no. <laughs> ta-da! Your suitcase, it kind of smelled a bit funky. And... Oh, really? It's probably the running clothes. Well, like... Yep, yep. I was a little bit worried about dating Sam because his suitcase did smell a bit rank, but he smelled fine in the date. I was actually quite impressed with the way that he smelled, so... Mm. Michelle went straight on to her second date, this time with Matt. How yeah. tall are you? Stand up. Oh. I could tell that she was a smaller girl. I was much taller than her. I like smaller girls. Not very tall, and you're... Then, wow, you're, actually... you're really firm. <laughs> In the dark room, it's a little what? bit sassy, right? Yeah. Body-wise, he is the kind of guy that I would be into, but I don't know, people that seem to spend that much time on their body, do they have enough time to spend with their women? Matt was then on to his second date, this time with Vanessa. Do you dance? Yeah, I'm a dancer. You're a dancer. Yeah, yeah. You got some moves. <laughs> I do. Do you want to <laughs> dance in here? No, no. Could we? I don't know. Do you reckon no. we could? She said that she liked dancing and she was a dancer. So I've got a couple of moves out there. Oh, what about this one? Which one down oh, here? You, did you get it? I got it. I got it. We worked well. We worked yeah, well. Yeah, that was nice. That's... Oh, I was thinking, I hope I don't poke this girl in the eye. Didn't want to make the girl cry on our first day. Okay, let's sit down. Now. Yeah, let's have a seat. Well, I like your arm. It's very nice. Thanks. I mean, I haven't really been with a guy with a really good body, so I was like, oh, that, that's nice. Bit of bit of muscle there. See you, mate. Bye. If I had to say now, I'd go with Vanessa, but she chose Sam, so we'll see how they go. <laughs> oh, Ooh, Nate, come round. Where are you? Come round. I'm here. Here. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> oh, firm handshake. We just spilt the champagne. Do you have champagne? You want some? Yes, please. Okay. I didn't like the touch with Sam. That was a real deal breaker with me. Okay, I've got curly hair. Do you have curly hair? Yeah. Oh, pull. <laughs> as soon as we started touching, it was like, what the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, I'm going years. for it. Yeah. Didn't really feel like he knew how to touch a woman, or he was comfortable with that. Oh uh, well, I think we're good. I think uh, we're good. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see you again. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and leave this dark room now. Okay. <laughs> Give me a hug. All right. I like hugs. Okay. I think uh, we got along really well, yeah. and I remember walking out of the room feeling that you know that went well, sort of thing. Coming up, things get shaky in the dark room. That's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Land in Ibiza. Get up and get ready to smash out the performance of your life. 20, 30,000 people in front of you. So why is their manager pull the plug? I reckon we should f*** this gig off. He should be there. For me, that was weird. And Australia first. The Stafford Brothers, Friday 8.30, Fox 8. Fox 8. Good morning, girls. Hello. Hi, Laura. We all seem quite chirpy. Hello. Last night must have gone well. Yeah. yeah. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. OK. Well, I've got something which might help you make up your mind. Okay. Remember the questionnaires that you filled in before you came into the house? Yeah. We've actually had our experts go over those and we've listened to what you're looking for in a partner to come up with a score of who you're most compatible with. Interesting. This will then determine who you see on your next date. 
So we're going to display them on the screen over here and I think you might be a little surprised with the results. That should help out a bit. Yeah, well, hopefully it does. I'll leave you with them. Okay. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> Michelle? Michelle? Oh. Michelle and Sam, 74%. Oh, okay, all right, all right. What do you think? It's pretty high. It's me. Vanessa. Vanessa. Oh. It's got to be Matt. Come on! Oh, oh. oh. oh my God! God. Wow. wow. 78. 78. I beat you. Cool, I wouldn't have gone on a date with Carlo. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Wow. wow. So that leaves me with Matt, right? Letizia. I don't learn how to say a name. 86. 86. 86. What? That is not what I predicted at all. Wow. I'm a compatible kind of guy. Yeah, well, that changes really... things a little bit, doesn't yeah. it? I'm looking forward to today's date. I think that I'm going to bring Sam out of his shell a little bit. I've planned an activity that I think both of us will enjoy. I've brought us something to play with. OK. I figured it would be a bit fun for us to have a bit of a jam today. Uh -huh. What I do insist on, though, you need to wear a percussion hat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I look ridiculous, but I don't care because you can't I see can't me. I can't see you, no. <laughs> we were instantly a lot closer. Our body language was a lot closer, I could feel, and it just sort of broke the ice a little bit. We're not getting anywhere, are we? No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, I was very happy that Sam decided to run with my idea of the kitchen jam. He seemed to enjoy it, which made the date a lot more comfortable. We have tiny... I have small hands, so you must have really small yeah. hands. You do? Wow. They're strong, but... Strong hands? Yeah. Uh, really strong. Really, let's have an arm wrestle. I don't know where the arm wrestle came from. It just it. happened, but... <laughs> He kind of wasn't that strong. All right, go. <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I just hit my head on the pot. I don't know where you are. Where? You're really strong, mate. You're not like a little brick shit house, are you? No. <laughs> Oh, wow. As you go, it was everything. good, mate. I'm pumped. I'm, I'm, all, I'm still full of adrenaline and stuff. Then we went for an arm wrestle and she almost beat me. <laughs> Who won? Oh, he did. I let him win. <laughs> did you? So you would have won if you didn't let him win? Maybe, yeah, for sure. <laughs> was he a bit shy or was he... No, he, he, was, he wasn't as shy this time. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be interested in seeing him again. He was fun. Vanessa and I would match because she sort of did art therapy and she'd probably know actually a fair bit about art and that's something that definitely excites me. I'll probably relax a little bit more with Vanessa because she is a down-to-earth girl and that's probably going to bring out the best in me. Oh, oh well, watch out. Don't... There's lots of things. You're probably going the wrong way. Oh, I'm here. That's all right. So we've oh got, we've got um, canvases in here oh. and paint. <gasps> the compatibility date with Carlo didn't really feel like he was too much into just getting right into it. Is there a brush? I can tell you. No, we're finger painting. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, yeah. Get excited and go back skin. to your childhood. I just didn't feel like the date was that fun. Even when I started painting on his face, he didn't paint on my face. <laughs> You're just going to have a like totally... just day spa here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, well, why not? OK, yeah, let's do it on the face. And, you know, I could feel it kind of really taking over all my face. And I thought, oh, this is it. I'm coming out like a clown here. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Bought you something. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> This is a uh, Carlos picture. Oh, oh wow! There you go. The, the date overall? The date was okay. Um, I don't know. I'm not convinced if she's the right kind of chick though for me. Yeah. I just didn't feel it in the room at all. He seems like the type that doesn't like to get dirty. Yeah, you know? that's it, man. He kept saying, oh, my jeans, I'm going to get into my jeans. And I was like, oh, shit, no. The third pair to be matched up was Matt and Leticia. Hello. Hello. Out of everyone, I would have never thought I would be compatible with Matt. Yeah. But now realising that we've got 86% compatibility. You sound like you're right in front uh, of me. Hang on. I'm really intrigued to know why, because it was the one that I cut off straight away. Well, you said you were 
Hundred percent party boy. Uh, no, no, hundred percent. I know, I know when to party and when to uh, when to rest. So you are looking for someone. I am looking for someone. Yeah. The party boy is looking for someone. I am, I am. <laughs> she told me that uh, after the group date, she would completely ruled me out. But after putting my point of view forward to her, I think she said that she might have changed her mind. Do you mind taking off your shirt? <laughs> That's fine. I had an idea of what it looked like from what the girl said, and they said, well, it's pretty bad. So I just wanted to have a little bit of fun. So I gave him a little bit of a massage, and I had a feel. Do you yeah, shave? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you just got a big smile on my face now. I did feel that there was a bit of a spark. We were quite playful, so I liked it. Show me your hands. Hmm. Show me your hands. Oh, big hands. <laughs> He did enjoy the massage. I did have a good feel. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> feel my bum? Mission accomplished. You get to do that, I get to do yours. Oh, <laughs> nice little bum. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hello. Hi. How'd it go? Ah. Oh. Wow. It was really comfortable. He's got big hands. <laughs> Definitely a stronger connection than, mm -hmm. than Carlo, for sure. Mm. So, so far, so good. So, you green light or red light? What's going oh, on? Oh, yes, definitely. She um, she had a bit of a feel in my bum as well. Oh, man. So, I, I returned the favour. Oh, you did, yeah. yeah. And it was Naturally, it's very polite. Yeah, yeah it's what you do. So, yeah, Matty, yeah, mate, who, who are you leaning towards now? After that date, I think I'm going to go with Letizia. Really? Yeah. Oh. Carlo? I don't know. I don't know yet. Yeah. I may swing back to right, Letizia. Yeah. I might even go back to Vanessa. Yeah, I don't know. Bit of good competition, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, anything could happen, really. <laughs> Coming up, do our oh. participants <laughs> really see eye to eye? We licked each other's oh. eyeballs. Oh, my God. <laughs> when a super hot supermodel spy catches Chuck's eye... You see anything? Are you serious? There's only one thing for his super hot lover spy to do. Brand new Chuck, Sunday 6.30, Fox 8. Eight. The time had come for the guys and girls to send out their invitations to the one person they would like to join on their final date. Oh, Sam and Michelle chose each other. Oh, oh you did it. OK, that's good. <laughs> I can breathe. That's good. That's so really far, so exciting. good. As did Matt and Leticia. Brilliant. Oh. You did it. First connection, hey? Wow. Vanessa also invited Matt. Oh, oh Casanova over God. here. God. And while Carlo wanted a second date with Leticia... I'm going to try and use the very limited French that I have. His invitation was rather lost in translation. Oh, oh that's awesome. What does it say? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi au rendez-vous? That means you want to sleep with me on our, on our rendez-vous. <laughs> For the final dates, everyone made the effort to bring out their romantic side. The first couple in was Sam and Michelle. I'm going to try and sort of turn up the heat a little bit. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try and move it forward a little bit quicker because we haven't got a lot of time. And, yeah, I'm going to come up with something to sort of take it to the next step. Well, you're actually sitting around a campfire. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's, um, here's your stick. Because we were roasting. Oh, we're roasting marshmallows. marshmallows. Apart from the campfire, um, I also brought in an esky with some fine whiskey in it. Just n nothing mixed with it, just straight on the rocks. And she was into that as well, as far as I could, I could tell. Jeez. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <clears throat> wow, that really is straight whiskey. Yep. Awesome. I think I have worked Sam out. I think he's the incredibly nervous type. And he was sweating profusely. Yeah, well... Oh, you're all sweaty too. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's this bloody fire, you know? It's so I know, hot. it's so hot. From when I walked in there, I was going, I just want to get this over and done with and kiss this girl. But I, by the same token, didn't want to seem too keen. Do you think things have gone all right so far? I think they have. It's definitely been fun. Yeah. All these dates. I'm pretty awesome, aren't I? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> That is awesome as me. Yeah, we're pretty awesome. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, no, all right. Well, I'm gonna, I'll give you a hug and say goodbye. 
and um, I'll see you soon. Mm. <laughs> he just totally walked out. So I was thinking, wow, I just got really badly rejected. He just left. I didn't know what to think. I was like, eh. I think I've been ditched. From when I sort of walked outside of the dark room, I realised, oh, maybe I haven't, you know, made the most of the situation. Um, so I, I decided to go back in there and pretend that I left something by the campfire. I'm back. Hey. <laughs> You're back? Yeah, I forgot something. What did you forget? Hang on, where are you? Where are you? I'm oh. here. <laughs> I don't think you just throw on the chocolates. You forgot that? Yep, I left that by the campfire. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. I'm still in shock. I don't even know what just happened. Hey, 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 hey. Number one, he's here. Look at his hair, his oh, hair is everywhere. Totally, you totally kissed her. Did you dance, dance my yeah, friend? <laughs> Watch and learn. Did you kiss? <laughs> yeah, we did actually. Oh, you did? Are you joking? How was no, it? Good. Look at me, I'm sweating like that bloody campfire. Oh, you were sweating yeah. like it. It was radiating heat, wasn't it? <laughs> the campfire was really hot. <laughs> 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 That's brilliant. Was it That's a good kiss? So I think you pretty much too much. Do I have a face left? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it was just a bit, I was just a bit like, whoa. Wow. Yeah. One down. Pressure's <laughs> on now. I'm nervous. <sighs> the next pairing were Vanessa and Matt. I invited Matt on my date. So I came in there with strawberries covered in chocolate. Would you like one? I'll have one. Okay. Would you mind removing the chocolate? I don't eat chocolate. Dude, what's with you guys not eating chocolate? I don't like chocolate. Okay. I don't know. All right. So placed them down and thought, okay, we've got to do something different here. You suck one of your fingers okay. and I'll tell you which one. All right, ready? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, it was... A... <laughs> this is quite sexual. It is. Maybe we can start sucking each other soon. <laughs> First of all, we were sucking our own fingers and then it, uh, it grew into sucking each other's fingers and guessing which finger it was. What finger is that? Mm. At this point in the day, I was thinking, this girl's really fun. Do yeah. you want to have one more finger suck? <laughs> we do something different. Well, I'm, I'm definitely not going to suck toe. I'm, no, uh... no, me. <laughs> Sucking feet is like licking someone's eyeball. Come on. <laughs> licking, uh, licking eyeballs? Don't tell me you've done that before. I've never done that. Apparently, it, it's really nice, but I've never really? experienced it. Do you want to try? <laughs> I was like, do you want to do it? Or do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, go, go, go. Okay, okay, so. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. It, it was almost like oh. it was like um, a jelly ball. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you it's not actually a nice feeling. It's quite violating. Pretty much I can liken it to a snail being thrown in your eye. I can do this. Okay, can you've got to be a man. Come on, pry it open. <laughs> no, more. You've got to, like, really get it. Yeah. You got it, you got got it baby. Have you got mascara on? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. At the end of this day, I just walked out like, oh my God, what the hell did we just do? After Matt's eye-opening experience, he was straight on to his next date with Leticia. Cheers. Where are we? <laughs> Cheers. Oh, uh, Salud. Santé. So oh, it's Spanish. It's Spanish, yeah. That's okay, Sante. understood. Yeah. yeah. So you don't speak any French at all? Um, no. Uh, if you want to teach me, I would be more than willing to learn. What do you want to know? How about, um, would you like to see me in the light? Um, voulez-vous me voir dans le jour? Voulez-vous me voir? Voulez-vous me voir? Voulez-vous me voir? Voulez-vous me voir? Me voir. Me voir. Me voir. Dans le jour. Dans le jour. You're very sweet. Really? Mm. The vibe that I was getting was really, really good. 
And yeah, she seems really cute, Re like kind of like a girl I would I would go for. You got very nice lips. Okay. Do you wanna? <laughs> yeah, we do. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bye. It was nice. She was a good kisser. The French can kiss, that's all I can say. Once she'd composed herself, Leticia was straight onto her second date, having been invited by Carlo. What dish is your oh, favourite? Um, well, I do love, um, I don't know, there's a lot of Did you crack your knuckles? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Do you do that when you're nervous or something? I'm not nervous, I just want to... <laughs> you just want to crack your knuckles, you just want to stress release. I'm not stressed at all. I'm Cracking just... your knuckles is a bad habit. <laughs> do you don't do that? No, no, I don't. I can't. I can't crack Can I try? Sure. OK, go ahead. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Fantastic. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Fun day. It's like you've got me into drugs or something now. I'm going to keep doing it. It feels good though, doesn't it? Maybe a little bit, yeah. I made the effort in trying to speak French. Um, I think she appreciated that too. Did I, is voulez vous. Okay, I needed to talk about that. Oh, actually. yes, please, yes. Okay. Please talk you know what you said in your message? You know what it means? Avec. Moi. Moi, rendezvous. OK, that doesn't mean anything, cos that means, do you want to sleep with me, rendezvous? <laughs> did you know that? No. What did... I had a good date with Carlo, and I was actually just going in there and really relaxed and just see what happens. That was very lovely. Thank you, Carlo. Thank you. I had a good laugh. Like, it was hilarious, actually. Out of 10, how would you rate the whole date? I'd rate the date probably about 7 or 8 or something like that. It was, it was that, actually okay, really good. Right. It was nice to talk to 7 or 8? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look out, cowboy. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Me and Matt's date was very funny. I did something yeah. that I can say <laughs> I've honestly never done before. What was that, man? What the hell? We licked each other's oh. eyeballs. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you serious? You licked each other's eyeballs. Yeah, she licked my eyeball first of all. She held my eye. That is really strange. I'm kind of glad I didn't go on a date with her. <laughs> like, he couldn't open my eye properly. Ew, and I kissed him after that. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> the date was not romantic at all. I didn't feel romantic chemistry, but I just, it was, it was cool. We were testing each other's boundaries. <laughs> More interestingly, what happened with the second date that you went on? Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Um, head to head. We did... We did... Kiss. Oh. Yeah. Oh. How was the kiss? It was good. The French can kiss. Oh. Yeah, good so... on you, mate. <laughs> Coming up, who will meet up? Who will walk away? Visually, she's not, you know, an absolute dreamboat. <laughs> You must be the new girl. Um, yeah. In this private school, you either fit in or die. Up trailer park. Seriously? Hello, Reed. Welcome to Billings. Private. Exclusively online at fox8.tv and screening next Thursday, 1.45 on Fox 8. Want a chance to meet some top model judges and win some awesome prizes? Australia's next top model. We're auditioning right now. Head to fox8.tv for all the details. Go on, it's fashionable. All new Australia's next top model, coming in 2011. So Fox 8. The guys and girls were all asked to choose the one person they would like to see revealed in the darkroom. Vanessa invited Matt. Matt and Leticia invited each other, as did Sam and Michelle. Carlo saw the light... Leticia. Ooh. ...and chose to see Leticia. Well done, boys. Nice work. Well done. Fate's been sealed. Yep, it's all done. I'm not quite sure what I'm expecting when the light comes on. I'm just going to try and look my best and see how we go. I'm starting to give me a bit um, anxious, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, I don't know how he's gonna, what he expects or anything. I don't know, I'm quite nervous, actually. It's a pretty scary thing, you see. I've got myself involved in this love triangle with Matt and Letizia, 
And, uh, you know, who knows, when the lights go up, I might not want to be part of that triangle, or maybe I really will. I think at this stage, Letitia's looks are the whole deciding factor. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> mate, right, Carl, let's do it. See you, mate. I was extremely nervous walking down the stairs to go. My um, first like, review with Carlo. You basically are standing there in the dark, can't see anything, and just waiting for these sort of bullets of judgment to hit you as soon as the light comes on. It's absolutely nerve wracking. I'm getting a good vibe from Letitia, so I'm hoping after the light reveal and Carlo's light reveal that she still will pick me. Letitia is stunning. First thing I noticed about her was her amazing legs. She had a really nice set of legs. Before Matt could gather his thoughts, he was straight onto his second light reveal, this time with Vanessa. When I'm standing in the dark and I know a light's about to come on and someone's going to see me for the first time, it's a little bit nerve wracking. He's cute. He's a cute guy. What do you think? What do you think? Um, well, I saw Carlo first. Yes. And to be honest with you, no. And Matt? Um, Matt, I was not expecting that at all. Really? No. Wow. He looks very, very young. Like yeah. a baby. So I don't know. I, I'm very confused. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I saw both the girls, guys, yep. and uh, Vanessa. Overall thoughts, she's not the type of girl that I would date. Yep. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put her in the friend zone. Mate, million dollar question, Letitia, describe her. Letitia, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's, she's a little hottie. Is she? Yeah, she's a hottie. With Letitia, one thing I am worried about is that she could see me as immature, so that could stand in the way of us possibly meeting up on the balcony. Yeah. What about you, Carlo? Yeah, I don't know. I've got some thinking to do, because... Um... Because Matt's obviously keen. Is she worth competing Fighting for? Fighting over, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's right. Well, yeah, I don't know. I've got to think about that, really. Yeah. I'm very interested to see the person who kissed me yesterday. Very. <laughs> we were waiting in the dark, and we could hear each other breathing, but it was the longest wait of my entire life. I'm a mess inside at the moment. I'm so nervous. I'm not so nervous about what she thinks of me. I'm kind of nervous about what I think of her, basically because I've just got so many ideas in my head about what she looks like.
So was he attractive? He wasn't unattractive. He was actually a little bit better than what I was expecting. Come on, really so bad. what's the... Mate, she's very cute. Really? She's very cute, yeah. You're she's cute. got really nice eyes. Yeah? Um, visually, she's not, you know, an absolute dream boat. So, do you know what you're going to do? You know what? I'm, I'm not really sure at the moment. We'll mm. see. OK. How important are looks to you? Um, looks are pretty important, not the be all and end all, but they are important to me. I, I, I need to like what I look at. Our contestants have finally had a chance to see each other in the light. If they like what they saw, they'll meet here on this balcony. And if not, they'll exit through the front door alone. Now that I've seen Matt in the light, it's pretty much confirmed my feeling about him. Even though we did have fun in the dark room, I don't think we had a lot in common. And even though he's a really cute guy, he's really not my type. A little bit too straight. I'd say I'm a really free-spirited person and I don't really care what other people think or expect of me. So, yeah, I'm not gonna settle for anyone, you know? I'm gonna wait until I meet that person and it's like, boom, you're it. Typically, I go for younger girls, and Letizia's a little bit older, and things haven't really gone too well with the younger girls, so maybe I should be considering, you know, chartering these uncharted waters. Look, this is really definitely a difficult uh, decision. I've, uh, I've got two sort of things on my shoulders telling me um, what I should be doing, and um, I'm not sure which one to listen to. I'm a little bit on the fence, a little bit apprehensive about whether or not I will go to the balcony. I'm only 24 years old, I'm not sure how old she is, but uh, she seems pretty mature. Look, at the end of the day, I had a blast with both of them, but when I saw Matt, he looked quite young, I was quite confused. But at the end of the day, we had a really good time in there, and I don't want to be the, you know, shallow, superficial sort of girl, and... I came here to break my patterns and my looks, so it's always a risk knowing that, you know, you can be rejected no matter what, but if you don't take a risk, if you don't take a chance, then you never know. idea what to expect when I came onto the balcony, but when I finally got there, there was no one. So I'm like, okay. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I went there and nothing happening. I kept looking behind me, looking at the door, nothing. And then I see someone coming, I'm like, no. You know, deep down, it didn't feel right. I think if I just went out with her for her looks, because her looks were great, uh, it still wouldn't have been right, and that's being superficial, I think. So walking away is the gentlemanly thing to do. I just see Carlo walking out the door, so that was fine. I was expecting that anyway. And at this stage, I'm still waiting, and I'm waiting. I have no idea whether he's going to show up or not, and I'm freaking out. out onto the balcony and Letitia was there waiting for me. I was very, very happy. I uh, went out and gave her a big kiss. Even if Letitia is a little bit older than me, 
I probably won't uh, buy into it at all because age really isn't a factor for me. It's really nice to know that at the end of the day, you felt the same way that I felt and looking forward to see what's next. Don't know what that's going to take me, but at the end of the day, it's a good start. I always thought from the beginning that he's not the type of guy that I'm normally attracted to. But I think that we got along really well and we had a lot of fun, so it would be nice to spend a bit more time with him. I'm about to go out onto the balcony and I'm feeling incredibly nervous. I have no idea whether he's going to be there. There were good points and bad points about what I saw. She had a lovely face, nice eyes. Her outfit was very, very loud. It's not normally the, what I go for. I'm more of a conservative sort of a dresser myself. I don't want to lead Michelle on too much if I've got too, too many doubts. When I walked out onto the balcony, no one was there. I was thinking, oh, OK, here we go. Going to be standing here by myself. I was standing there preparing myself for the worst, and then I hear the door open. G'day. <laughs> How are ya? I'm glad you're here. <laughs> you can have a normal conversation and a normal yeah, day. <laughs> when I walked through the door and saw Michelle standing there, I thought, thank God. Yeah, I'd really like to take Michelle out, catch up, have a chat, and um, find out a bit more about her. I was pretty happy that I wasn't left standing there all by myself. We had a hug. It was cute. Oh, it's better. <laughs> I came into Dating in the Dark, not sure what to expect, but it's been really exciting and it's been an amazing experience to meet someone like this. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to what lies ahead. Happened to you? You don't remember? I was strong enough. Why didn't you tell me you knew her? I met her once. Can we make the cut? It's you I spent all summer thinking about. We can do anything. We can be anyone. Just close your eyes and try. I let you take the one girl I've ever loved, man. TV in the raw. All new skins you can. Wednesday, 10:30, Fox 8.